Well, hello there. It's Beards and Bangers. And today we're up at Wortley Hall, lovely Wortley Hall, the a little hive and haven of socialism up here in South Yorkshire, near Barnsley and Sheffield, because we've got a little meet uh, for Smashing Pistons. There's Smashing Pistons. Check that channel out. There's, there's um, Father Smashing Pistons. You've probably seen in some videos before. Poor old boy with the broken MGB. There's Carlos with his... We'll have a proper look at this car in a minute because it's absolutely fantastic. You don't need to be like that. <laughs> absolutely fantastic car. We've got some more cars around here. We've of course got Hope. There's Mark, or Bad Books, as some of you, some of you may, may know him. His lovely little Unos Roadster. So... Beautiful car, we'll have to have a close look at that in a moment. There's Henny, up for sale now, and there's Hope. So we're gonna do a bit of a road run. I'm actually not in an MG Rover because I needed something a bit bigger for this weekend, uh, carrying exhausts and such like. So I'm in the, uh, the daily, this new Volkswagen multivan. Uh, there's, there's Matt, Mark and Gareth, so we'll, we're going to get on the road and go for a bit of a spin, I think, and hopefully get a cup of tea along the way. So I was trying to follow everyone and get footage, but Matt and I got separated. We got separated from the... Oh there's, there's a Simon. Hello. Excuse me, mate. We're having a bit of a classic car on here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're at Roy Wind Farm, which we filmed... Simon films that quite a lot. I, we filmed that together once, I think. Um, so I had a little closer look at some of these cars. So, so this is Simon's... Margaret, which now belongs to Simon's dad, Alan. Um, so it's quite nice. Simon's been able to sell the car, but can still get content and uh, footage from it. Um, obviously, we know we know Henny. This is Carl's rather spectacular ZS. Um, he's got a Cavalli engine in this, which uh, he was part behind me and started up, and it sounded absolutely lovely. But he does think his clutch is beginning to slip. Uh, now, we didn't get this one in early. This is Gareth's um, Kia Magentis, I think these are called. Um, Magentis, that's right. Um, it's a real nice, chunky car. Um, very European in its styling. Almost Skoda Superbish in its shape. Um, it really is quite a nice thing. Some of these Korean cars are... Quite not, although they were quite a nice style. They of course, they all now look like every other car, but um, that is a really attractive thing. I like it. Mark's MX-5, or Unos, sorry, which shouldn't call it an MX-5. Let's look at the interior. It's absolutely lovely, this thing. So this is the automatic, uh, but I just love that brown, browny tan uh, interior. It's really nice. That steering wheel is absolutely superb. I think Simon's going to do a video on this soon. Got Emma's Freelander 2 with its TD4 engine. So we've managed to get up here. Absolutely stunning. Uh, 
loads of uh, loads of wind turbines up here. It's quite a stunning view. Um, we're sort of in the yeah north of Sheffield. What are we? West of Barnsley here, and it's absolutely glorious. Matt's revving the K series to. I like it. So he, everyone can hear it. See, just in case anyone wonders what the stick's for. <laughs> He's using his stick to uh, blip the accelerator. So that's, that's what the stick's for. So <laughs> So we're now at Langset Reservoir. It really is a stunning spot. So yeah, just parked up for a little, little stop here. The wind is quite chillsome. So I, don't, I think it won't be long before we get a little cup of tea. Um, yeah, but it's lovely, lovely roads, lovely scenery. So if you, people think of Barnsley and Sheffield as being industrial areas, but you get a little bit out of the cities and you're into this beautiful countryside. I mean, just look at those stone cottages up there. I don't know how well you can see them in the distance. Beautiful landscape. Absolutely lovely. And the peace is shattered by all these rovers and MGs and stuff. So we're at our final destination, so we're in Strines, which is, you can probably just see through the, the trees there, that's the Derwent Reservoir, and that of course is where 617 Squadron of the RAF did their practice runs before the Dambusters raids in 1943. Um, so we'll, we won't get down any closer unfortunately, but uh, here we are, everyone's together, we're going to go and have a cup of tea or something, and maybe a sandwich. Um, there is actually, I'm going to wander down to the main car park because there's another car I want to have a look at. I've just driven that and that's nice. I'll do a review on this car soon. Carl's um, ZS is rather, rather fruity, shall we say, with its Cavachi engine. Um, but it's a great pub for motoring enthusiasts. We've got lots of bikes here, which is fantastic. We've got this unusual three-wheeled bike here which is very almost like a batmobile it's very very nice looking beautiful thing but around this corner we've got an mgt which drove past when we were at langset reservoir now look at that isn't that absolutely gorgeous and then there's the pub where we're going to have a little little drink here in a moment so thank you for watching and massive thank you simon great me i think we've got eight nine cars with us today so it's absolutely fantastic um the weather's perked up just in time for easter which is great uh, so i've got to thank simon and shout out to him for organizing the day don't forget to hit like subscribe share do all that stuff and i'll see you again very soon on the next episode of beards and bangers goodbye <laughs>